In this video, I'll show you how to do a pipe calculation, actually three calculations, on inch-based pipe. Uh, you might call those measurements in uh, imperial or US customary or just English traditional, wherever you live. It's the same idea. First, you're going to need to identify your pipe. And for that, you need measurements. You need to measure the outside diameter of the pipe. That's measurement to be taken one. Two, you need to measure the wall thickness, and I'm just gonna go wall TH for wall thickness. From this wall thickness, you're gonna need to learn the schedule number, and from the actual outside diameter, you need to learn the pipe's nominal size, so you can look it up in the pipe schedule. From these data, you need to look up how much a certain uh, uh, how much a foot weighs and <coughs> we're gonna need to multiply it with the length of the pipe given okay I'll show you step one outside diameter what you do is pull a tape measure and do your best reading oh for these calculations you really need to be familiar with decimal inches and also decimal feet, converting them back to fractions and feet, inches, and fractions on inch. Take a look at my titles under metric and imperial, okay? So, let's measure this one. This one is, let's round it generously to, it's, it's a little more than two and a quarter, uh, maybe two and three eighths, something like that, okay. We're looking for the outside diameter, two and three eighths. Yeah, we don't have two and three eighths here anywhere. We have a situation, Houston, we need to make sense of two and three eighths. So first, convert your measurement two and three eighths. And it's actually what? Well, three eighths converts like this. Three divided by the <coughs> eight <coughs> is 0.375, sorry, and the two inches is that. So we need to look for a number that resembles 2.378. Let me see. 1.6, 2.378. Ding, ding, ding. We have a hit. So this is a two inch pipe. Believe me, you don't want a history lesson why a two inch pipe measures two and three eighths. Don't worry about it, just work with it. So we have the pipe located, and we're gonna be looking for one of these numbers in these two rows here, okay? I'm just gonna put this envelope somewhere there. So we're looking at these rows with the shaded squares for weight, and the squares with white figures are the schedule numbers, but we don't have a schedule yet, because to figure out the schedule, we need to measure the wall thickness. And this one is done. Let me just zoom out all the way and try to measure this one. Measure as carefully as you possibly can. Just try, I'm just waiting for the camera to focus. Just bear with me. All right, there, okay, camera focused there. It's a little less than a quarter inch. How about two, four, six? How about, um, yeah, three sixteenths? Yeah, let's go three sixteenths on this one. Three sixteenths is nice, but again, in a pipe schedule, you have decimal digits. You don't have nothing looking like three sixteenths. So the measurement was three. 16th, and now we need to convert it into decimal inches. Fairly straightforward, three divided by 16 equals that amount, 0 0.1875. Okay, let's try to find our pipe here. It was a little more than uh, 3 16th, so I'm expecting a number bigger than that. Okay, we have here the pipe schedule, and we are looking at 
the two inch pipe and those are the possible pipe schedules they make I say that one 0 0.218 is close or that one 0 0.154 I would need to measure again and check now I know I rounded the corners of the pipe so it uh, so it can be handled safely in class so I'm gonna go with the 0 0.218 because the grinding and rounding and making the edges safe will make the pipe look thinner than it is so let's go with 0 0.028 and that's gonna give us a schedule 80 this one is a schedule 80 pipe and uh, it was a 2 inch pipe so we have a 2 inch schedule 80 pipe and let's say we have uh, I don't know 5 feet 8 inches and a quarter worth of it what the heck do we do with this number we need to convert this measurement into decimal feet you can't escape it because all of the information in a pipe schedule is given per pounds for every foot so we need to figure out how much this is in decimal amounts you, because you can't enter that into the calculator now five feet is going to be five point the eight and a quarter is converts to decimal feet this way the quarter is 0.25 so I'm just going to go 8.25 divided by 12 equals 0 0.6875 so 6875 if you want to review the and refresh your memory on converting feet inches and fractions of an inch to decimal feet right now is the perfect time so that's how many feet we have two inch schedule 80 5.6875 feet of it and this number needs to be multiplied by the unit weight which is in this schedule it's right underneath let me see two inch pipe there about so that's the two inch schedule 80 pipe and they weigh each foot is 5.022 pounds 5.022 pounds for every foot or per foot so we need to multiply these two fellas together 5.6875 times 5.022 equals 28 pounds 38.56 pounds there that's the final answer to this question let's do another calculation when you have oh if you have a bunch of these pipes say the same length you have maybe uh, 81 pieces of it of this length then you need to multiply the number of pieces by the length and by the unit weight and in that case it's not going to be 28 pounds so I'm going to make a new subtotal here just ignore the 28 pounds there that's not there anymore I'm going to put this pipe on it and on the equation sign and now we're reading it this way so I'll just multiply 5.022 times 5.6875 times 81 pieces equals now it's going to be 2313 pounds 2313 and a half pounds there so that's how to do these pipe calculations let's do one more when we have water in the pipe This is done with I need another pipe schedule that has water in it and it was two inch pipe again and this pipe schedule is uh, let's pretend this is for schedule 80 pipe okay it is not but just pretend it is because I uh, didn't print the right one but just work with me on this one just get the idea so there's the schedule uh, there's the two inch pipe with the 2.38 inch outside diameter 
and we had a wall, we had a wall thickness uh, thicker than 0 0.15 but just so just ignore that you need a wall schedule that says 0 0.2 just like we found it 0 0.218 and uh, weight is uh, the weight of it is um, sorry guys uh, it doesn't say weight of water 